Hello guys, my name is Albert and I'm the lead designer of uh, Possession, a demonic card game, and I'm here today to tell you how the game works. First of all, let's have a quick rundown of what you need to play the game. Obviously the rulebook and reference cards in case you're forgetful. Then we have uh, the demon cards, the game deck, the location deck, the victim deck, a score pad to keep track of the up and downs of your victims, the all important time coin, and finally the narrator token. At the beginning of the game, every player takes a score pad, then you shuffle all the four decks, and finally you give one player the narrator token. Each demon card is different from the others and each demon has uh, special abilities and a starting possession value. Possession value is what you need to control victims. At the beginning of each turn, the narrator draws the victims, a location, tosses uh, the time coin to see whether it's day or night, and finally distributes the hand from the game deck. At the beginning of every turn, you draw a different number of victims depending on the number of players. Each victim has a unique ability and stats that are life, how many wounds it has, willpower, how hard or easy it is to control, and strength, or how strong it is in a fight. After the victims have been drawn, the narrator tosses the time coin. If it's day, the nemesis are stronger. If it's night, one more victim is drawn. Finally, the narrator draws a location, one per turn. The location has a unique rule and many symbols, each one interacting differently with the cards in the game. Finally, each location will tell you what to do with your hand at the end of a turn. At the beginning of the first turn, usually eight cards are given to each player. The cards are divided into four subgroups. Possession cards that you play to increase your possession value so you can control more victims. Equipments that can make your victims better or, in turn, they can make your opponent's victims harder to control by increasing their willpower. Events that can change a turn. And finally, the nemesis, who you can play against your opponent's victims to try to kill them. So, how do you possess a victim? This obviously is the pivotal part of the game. Let's assume you're a demon with a starting possession value of 3. Then you play a possession card, like Apparition, which is a, has a possession value of 4, and your possession value goes up to 7. One of the victims in the playing area is the Necromancer Dilettante, who has a willpower of 5. Because your possession value is higher than 5, you can immediately control the Necromancer Dilettante. But be careful, because you have to remember that if at any time your possession value is lower than the total sum of the willpower of the victims you're controlling, you have to discard as many victims as you must in order to get back in balance. Once you play the Nemesis against a victim, at the end of the turn, you have to fight. Let's assume that one of my opponents has played the Templar against my Necromancer Dilettante. In order to see who wins the fight, we check the strength of one against the strength of the other. If the Nemesis strength is equal or higher, then the Nemesis wins and deals one damage to the victim. Bear in mind that heroes, who are way more powerful Nemesis than usual, deal two damages. The turn ends the moment every player has played four cards. At the end of the turn, you have to see what happens with the rest of your hand. Check the location card and it will tell you whether the four cards that are remaining in your hand will go to the opponent to your left, to your right, or opposite yourself. What is the victory condition? How are you going to win the game? Easily enough, at the end of the fifth turn, every player adds up the sum total of their victim's strength and life. The player who comes up with the highest number is the winner. Thank you guys for your precious time.